So we're here at the Dublin Web Summit with Alex Hawkinson, CEO of SmartThings. And for anyone who doesn't know, what is SmartThings? Uh, SmartThings is, uh, uh, we think that there's the, uh, the biggest opportunity in the world in the next five to ten years is what we call the physical graph. And it's sort of the everyday objects in our life are going to be connected to the internet and become controllable and programmable and other things. And so SmartThings is focused on creating basically the platform that makes the physical graph frictionless for users and for developers and for device makers altogether. And how do you see that working in the real world? Well, uh, you know, one of the big things that we've had to do is make it very simple and accessible to consumers. And so we've got, uh, you know, a focus on making it valuable with no technical expertise uh, within 60 seconds. So we've got box solutions where a consumer can uh, buy one of these boxes, sort of take things out, plug them in, and then in less than a couple of minutes be uh, as an example, sort of solving home security or uh, being aware of their sort of all their entryways or doing uh, smart energy management or other things like that. So we've just focused on making it very easy for the average consumer. And this project was launched on Kickstarter and raised over a million dollars. Kevin Rose called it the coolest Kickstarter project he'd ever seen. How does that feel to raise so much money through uh, something that's a tech innovation in itself? It's pretty crazy. We've had a lot of questions about that. Uh, you know, we had launched the company with the plan to get the product built and out the door at the end of the year, regardless of Kickstarter. Uh, but our platform really depends on consumers and developers and device makers coming together. And so Kickstarter for us was about community engagement, and it was just phenomenal. Uh, you know, we sold more than a thousand connected devices a day. Uh, you know, 750 makers and developers signed up in three weeks. Um, and we really, across the community, more than 2,000 suggested applications for how they're going to put our platform to use. So it was just amazing. And you're talking about it's a community-driven service, and you've already kind of started making some partnerships and headway in that respect. Could you talk a bit about that? Sure. Uh, you know, well, there's uh, we support open standards, so there's, there's hundreds of connected device types that on uh, things like Zigbee and Z-Wave and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that can work with the platform already. But uh, we're most of the things that are going to be connected to the physical graph don't exist yet. So we're sort of trying to make it very open to both software developers that just want to hack the physical graph and sort of do new applications and uh, open it to makers who are going to invent the new devices. So on the software developer front, we've got a, a platform called Smart Apps that lets anybody with a web development sort of skill set suddenly do things in the physical world, you know, that used to be imprisoned by sort of firmware geeks and, and so on. So we've made that accessible to the wide developer community. And that's an open platform. On the maker side, we've come up with a chipset on top of these open standards that lets any device maker sort of add uh, connectivity and cloud programming to their device for less than five euros uh, per device and made that openly accessible. So all that can be seen at build.smartthings.com. It's an open community for the developers and makers. And obviously, you got a great reaction from Kickstarter that, that opened you up to the community. Is there any other reach out programs that you're doing to try and reach out to developers? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, this build.smartthings.com, it's, it's going to be an open community. We've had so 750 developers and makers on the back of Kickstarter with these thousands of suggested applications. Uh, we've had many hundreds since uh, the Kickstarter campaign ended, and so uh, we're just trying to engage that early community and get them to draw in other developers and makers as well. But we've seen a tremendous amount of inbound interest and new device types, so some of which will sort of blow your mind uh, coming at us, and uh, just can't wait to see what the next year you know, brings us.